But before that, uh, I am praying no, sa lahat na sana'y uh, magiging maayos kayo. No? Walang uh, magiging uh, sa unang uh, darating pa no, sa taong ito para naman lahat tayo ay magiging masagana ang ating uh, pamumuhay. Okay? So, ngayon, bagong uh, taon, panibagong uh, yugto ng ating buhay, pag-uusapan din natin no, yung uh, panibagong uh, pagkakataon sa Ayan. Today is January 1. This is the first day of the year 2021 and uh, allow me to greet you all. A happy happy new year and a prosperous new year ahead of us. No? Paano masabi? Alam naman natin kung ano nangyari sa atin nung January 2020 and I'm praying na yung January 2020 from 2019 na nagkaroon ng COVID January 2020 na maraming nawalan ng trabaho mahirap bumalaw ang mga biyahe sana hindi na natin yon ma-experience pang muli this coming year 2021 meron ng vaccine no? although hindi pa nakakarating sa ating uh, community no nando pa lang sa loob ng uh, Malacañang ano 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 ang senyo natamimi kayo but i am praying and hoping na sa mabilis na panahon ay mabigyan tayo ng uh, vaccination na, na pangangailangan natin din sa pang-araw-araw natin para protection and baka pag-travel na rin tayo sa ating mga business uh, opportunities hindi lang dito sa Metro Manila for example but for the provinces kung saan meron tayong mga business transactions I am praying for that no? na magiging uh, mabilis ang action ng ating uh, gobyan and uh, talking about first day of the year this uh, January 1 2021 let's hope also for the best no for the uh, commencement of all our activities for this year 2021 you know in construction mayroon din tayong uh, pinag-uusapang commencement no start of the commencement of the activities in construction that's the same with the commencement of this day January 2021. Ito nga sinasabi ko, no? We have another 365 days of opportunities, no? impossible opportunities na magbabago ng ating pamumuhay. Let's not waste this uh, day forward, no? Isang araw lang kasi ang uh, magiging waste dito sa 365 days. Malaking bagay ang uh, mawawalang opportunity sa bawat uh, isa sa atin. So, huwag natin sayangin itong pagkakataon na ito. We have another 365 days given by God for us to uh, make our uh, self a better uh, person, no? a uh, better businessman for this another 365 days. So, huwag natin sayangin yun. Now, we will talk about construction. We will talk about calendar days in construction, we will talk about commencement date of construction. Kasi, kung meron tayong 365 days of opportunities for this year 2021, there is also a number of calendar days in, cons in construction contracts that will give you an opportunities of winning or that opportunities will be converted into uh, losing your construction uh, contract. Ngayon, pag-uusapan natin ang commencement since that ngayon ay day one ng uh, 365 days of year 2021. Pag-uusapan din natin ngayon ang day one in construction contract. Saan ay sisimula ang day one sa construction contract? Paano natin malalaman ang day one sa construction contract? Dahil sa construction contract, may pinag-uusapan tayong Uh, number of calendar days sa kontrata natin. Alimbawa, we have our contract also of 365 days in construction contract. Saan ang sisimula ngayon ang day one ng ating construction contract? Okay? During the AD uh, bidding stage, ang last stage on that bidding or tendering process, 
is the issuance of the letter of award and the issuance of the notice to proceed. So, dalawang dokumento yung pag-uusapan natin. The letter of award and the notice to proceed. Saan ba dyan nagsisimula ang day one? On the issuance of the letter of award or on the issuance of the notice to proceed? Okay? Ngayon, ano ba itong mga dokumento ito? No, ano ba ito tinatawag na letter of award? Ano ba ito tinatawag na notice to proceed? Hindi ba yan iisang dokumento lang? You know, merong mga company that uh, after bidding or may nanalo ng bidder, nag issue sila ng letter of award and notice to proceed. So, kung makikita natin pag uh, binabasa natin yung mga dokumento, lalo na yung sa mga malalaking kustasyon, no? sa mga bahay-bahay, malamang hindi natin na-experience no? na nag-provide yung mga owners sa atin ng uh, letter of award and notice of proceed. But uh, for those in uh, big construction, large uh, construction projects, ito yung unang dokumento na matatanggap natin after bidding or tendering the letter of award and notice of proceed. And ano mga ito? Okay, letter of award. Ang letter of award, ito yung notice to the winning bidder that he won the project, he won the bid, and therefore, the owner notice uh, give him notice of that award no? the uh, owner notifying that uh, winning bidder or that con winning contractor that uh, he is the one uh, giving that project the project was awarded to him and he will comply all the requirements provided in that letter of award meron namang mga owner who issued letter of award and notice to proceed no? dalawang uh, instruction kaagad ang napaloob doon sa uh, dokumento letter of award and notice of proceed but you know generally uh, dapat ang uh, proseso diyan is kung hindi pa naman magsisimula kaagad yung project for example nag-award si owner ng uh, January 1 pero yung project is uh, sisimulan pa naman ng March the owner can issue only a letter of award ibig sabihin ni-notify lang ng owner yung winning bidder or winning contractor na ikaw yung nanalo ibig sabihin, ina-award na namin sa iyo yung project and you have to comply with all the requirements ano yung mga requirements na yun? yung pag-secure ng surety bond for the release of advance payment bond to secure for a performance bond no? para kung nagsimula yung project in case of the default of the contractor mayroong bonding firm that will uh, cover the uh, liabilities of the contractor pag na-default siya. And the submission of the uh, policy of the contractor's own risk uh, insurance. No? So, yun yung usually mga requirements na pinapakomply sa letter of award. And may mga iba pa requirements like uh, submission of uh, the uh, aligned, uh, realigned uh, bills of quantities no? for purposes of uh, measuring uh, payments later on and uh, yung pag-submit ng uh, program schedule no? based doon sa uh, timetable na mag-start ng March and uh, doon mag-convert yung calendar days. So that is the letter of award na ini-issue ng owner sa kay winning contractor na nag-bid doon sa project. Ngayon, pagdating ng March no, or before March, two weeks before March, March or three weeks before March, for example, to commence the work. Doon pala ngayon si owner mag-issue that notice to proceed. Ibig sabihin, dinonotify na si contractor, dinonotify na si winning bidder na mag-commence ng work or mag-proceed ng work on this date of March. So, ang i-issue ngayong uh, dokumento is the uh, notice to proceed. Of course, nauna nang na-comply ni uh, contractor yung mga documents na kailangan ng owner. Doon sa pag-issue ng letter. Meron namang mga uh, contractor na ang nare-receive nila is letter of award and notice to proceed. Dalawa na kaagad ang nakalagay doon sa dokumento yon Letter of award and notice to proceed. Ibig sabihin, dinonotify na si contractor as winning bidder that the project was awarded to him and therefore, he is also notified by the owner to commence the work on the date provided in the notice to proceed. Question ngayon is, paano pagka hindi nakalagay sa uh, letter of award and notice to proceed 
ang date of commencement kung kailan siya mag-date 1. So, as a general rule, no, usually, 7 days upon receipt of that letter of award and notice to proceed, that will be the day 1 uh, computed to the program schedule of the contract. So, yun yung general rule. Or you have to check the contract. Kung merong na uh, in-issue, for example, na uh, general conditions of contract, at nakalagay doon, no? ang uh, instruction kung kailan magkakaroon ng day 1 ng contractor dahil malaki ang factor itong uh, day 1 na ito sa paggawa ng contractor ng kanyang program schedule para ma-clear niya sa kanyang uh, timeline yung calendar days na dito ako nag day 1 dito ako magkakaroon ng completion date na pinag-uusapan namin and may uh, implication kasi no? pagka hindi na complete ng maayos yung uh, day 1 Doon sa kanyang completion date, nilang kaakibat niya later on is the imposition of liquidated damages so for the calendar days of delay. So, yun ang maging effect sa kay contractor. So, napaka-importante yung pag-determine ng day 1 or commencement date sa kontrata ng isang contractor. So, that is the document no, issued by the owner first to the contractor. Pero, yun yung sinasabi ko kanina, the owner sometimes only issued letter of award. And at the later date, the owner shall issue a notice to proceed. So, magkakaiba yun. No? This is only about award. And this is, the, uh, this is again, uh, the other document, uh, a notice to proceed. While may mga owner na nag issue in the same document, a letter of award and notice to proceed. So, yung uh, mga sinaryo na yan is that, halimbawa, uh, wala namang problema sa site, and uh, yung owner is nag mag nagmamadali na uh, mag-start ng uh, commencement date ng uh, project. Kaya naman yung project, uh, they can uh, deliver the uh, project site to the contractor free naman sa lahat ng mga, rest na, mga uh, restrictions. So, the owner will issue now a letter of award and at the same time, in notice to proceed. Pero, may mga nakikita ako letter of award and notice to proceed na parang kontrata na rin. No? Kasi yung uh, uh, letter of award dapat it's only a simple uh, statement no? that the contractor was notified, he won the, uh, the bid, no? and uh, he is required to submit the following documents. Yun lang. Okay? And even the notice to proceed, no? even in one sentence, pwede sabi ng owner that uh, we are notifying you to commence the work dated ganito. That's, that's it. No? Uh, pwede na yun. Pero, ang nangyayari ngayon is that uh, may mga letter of award and notice of proceed na tagi ilang pages, no? ang, ang daming provision na kala mong kontrata na rin. Well, that is people all on the part of the contractor. Bakit? Kasi, minsan, nagsisimula yung project or nasa kalagitnaan na ng project or patapos na yung project, hindi pa nagpipirmahan ng kontrata. So, security yan on the part of the contractor. Ako, ako yung contractor, pag nareceive ko yung letter of award and notice of proceed, magko-comment ako no? at maglalagay ako ng mga provisions dyan. Like, for example, provisions on payment, no? provisions on uh, uh, variation orders, provisions on liquidated damages, no? and uh, all of the provisions that will protect my interest. In, if ever, the owner will not uh, sign or cannot issue a signed contract or agreement during the performance of my work kasi nagiging problema palagi ng contractor yan ano, na uh, kalagitan ng project patapos na walang contract ang pinahahawakan walang uh, conditions of contract na pinagbasihan kung paano i-administer yung project at paano magiging secure ang uh, contractor sa uh, kanyang uh, kontrata so kung ako sa contractor side I will do to review and uh, provide that uh, sa provisions critical no to my uh, contract works no but on the part of the owner same sila doon sa uh, silent lot no so sa contracting kailangan balance eh, no uh, you have to let uh, between owner and uh, the contractor na magkakaroon ng fair uh, provisions no sa pag-start din ng uh, contractor kung hindi lang naman nakasigurado yung owner that he can provide the contract immediately or they can sign the contract immediately uh, 30 days before the commencement or 30 to 60 days after the 
commencement of the war kung di kontrakto na dapat na permahan na yung kontrata. So although, general rule is sinasabi natin palagi is within 60 days from the issuance of award, dapat nagperma na ng kontrata yung kontrakto ng owner, pero kadalasan hindi yan nangyayari. So nagiging bargain yan on the part of the contractor. So mas okay na rin yan no, na yung mga letter of award and notice to proceed natin is merong uh, provisions on payments, uh, provisions on uh, variation and change orders, extensions of time, habang hindi pa nagpipermahan ng uh, uh, kontrata and uh, conditions of contract, for example, para secure na rin ang uh, parties no, na mayroong provisions to govern and administer whenever there is an uh, issue on payment, issue on uh, variation of change orders, uh, issue on uh, the award of time extension, and the completion date. So, yun. Yung uh, topic natin ngayon for this uh, day of uh, 2021, uh, talking also commencement no? or the start of the day on the construction contracts, which is the issuance of the letter of award and notice to proceed. Hope you learned something today and uh, I promise that I will uh, give uh, more uh, discussions no? for this uh, 2021. Di pa ba sapat yung narinig nyo? Ulit-ulitin ko pa. Good morning and Happy New Year to all.